Good morning YouTube. My last video I spoke about how women are 95% of my customers and without them I'd have no business. So this video, um, because I've got about I don't know how many joiners and DIY guys and carpenters to subscribe to my YouTube channel, this one's for you. Over the past few years, I've used these wooden stools and they're, to me, they're by far better than the metal things that you get. Some health and safety guy says one day, that's no use, you can't use that. You definitely can't use it and you can't use it to stand on. Of course you can't, it's not a stepladder. So he then says, you can't use them, they're illegal, you've got to use this thing which if your saw cuts into the metal it knuckers it and everything else and they're clumsy and they do nothing. They can't store anything and it's just not the same. The old fashioned carpenter's joiner's stool is by far, to me, it's better than that metal things. They're rubbish. But anyway, today's video is making this stool and I'll show you. Let me first get rid of my old ones, get them out of the van. These I've had for a few years and I prefer them. I don't know how many I've made but this one is at the end of its life and it's time for a new one. A nice new joiner stool that stores tools, easy to lift, you can cut on it and it's perfect. I don't think any joiner or DIY guy or woman should not have this in their house or van. Even if it's a DIY guy, you can use it in your house to keep your tools in. So I'll give you a wee look. Here it is. And on one side I've got a bit for my chisels. And then there's a wee bit in here to keep my tools. There's a bit for my level, I can put my level in. And then there's a notch out at both sides of the stool. Now this is for when I'm doing doors, if I'm hinging doors or putting locks in doors. If a door's on its side on the floor and I'm hinging it, or the door's already hung and I'm putting in a lock, then this notch just holds the door steady while I'm working it. And the notch is slightly tapered, at the front it's 50 millimeters and tapers into the back to about 35 millimeters and that's so that you can get a 50 millimeter door right down a 35 millimeter door and it just jams it it holds it nicely and it can take a 45 millimeter door so that's that and the other thing it's got here is a wee drawer that you pull out and it pulls all the way out so that you can keep your random stuff in it Let's see how we're going. I'm gonna let the video speak for itself. But I've put up a card drawing. So if you want to, you could, when it's finished moving, you could pause the video, take a screenshot, and make one yourself.
And you want to know what's better than one of these? Two of these. This one's also got a drawer. It's also got a bit for your limo. It's got a bit for your tools. And it's got a little cubicle for whatever. Notches for your door. Let's go make one. But before I do that, I just want to do one more thing. 